Hi guys, welcome back. Beautifully Belly here with another video. So sorry, so sorry. <laughs> I've been going for two days. Um, my husband and I usually get all of our medical stuff out the way towards the end of the year, stuff that we haven't been able to get done, you know, during the year. So our dental appointments, we got that done in August. Um, our doctors was yesterday, but we couldn't go. Um, physicals was Thursday. And then, what's the other thing? I got my GYN appointment coming up in November. So eyeglasses, um, I mean, vision, dental, medical is out the way. Um, so this is going to be a medical update. I know some of y'all don't know, but the, for the people who do know, they follow, you know, they've been with me for a long time since I started my channel five years ago and they were with me during my medical journey. So I want to make sure I keep people filled in. As far as everything medical is concerned, I am good. I'm stable, which is good. Um, I did have some issues from April up until last month, <laughs> but everything resolved, so I'm happy with that. Um, it wasn't anything breathing related, but as far as my breathing is concerned, because I guess people want to know, like, <laughs> you were on oxygen, this day and other, blah, 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 what happened? So, um, my breathing is better. I wouldn't say it's 100%. Um, like, so example, the, the thing that I notice the most is if I go up and down the steps. When I go up and down the steps, it really, um, like, takes the one out of me. It takes me a while to recover still. But not being on the oxygen, to me, is, is it's progression. You know what I'm saying? Um, all the medicines and all that stuff, you know, whatever. It, all that is stopped. I feel like since I stopped taking all the breathing medicines and I'm not on the equipment anymore that I don't get sick as much. I feel like a lot of that stuff was making my immune system drop and it just kept making me susceptible to catching pneumonia. Because I, I can't tell you, I've had, I've had pneumonia over 10 times. So by me not taking the medicine and stuff, I feel like it's more manageable. The breathing and stuff is more manageable. Because once you're vulnerable and you're, you start catching colds and stuff, that's the thing right there that can take you out. So, yeah, I'm just blessed. I'm, I'm thankful. I'm, um, this is my second time. I don't want people to think like, oh, you know, I was on oxygen before um, when I was in grad school. Actually, when I graduated from grad school, I was on oxygen. Um, with that situation, I had had... No, I had had surgery and the surgery didn't go well. It affected my breathing. So I kept telling them like when I go outside and I walk around and I go up the steps, I noticed that it feels like I can't breathe. Like my lips would start turning blue and purple and I felt like I was going to have a medical emergency. So I kept telling them that they wasn't listening. So I ended up going to the specialist. And they did this test and it was, um, I forgot what the test is called, but you basically walk around in the loop and they have you hooked up to the oxygen, you know, little thing they put on your finger to check your oxygen level. They had my finger on that and I was walking around and they noticed that my oxygen dropped to 89 when I walked. So they was like, okay, immediately that day they had to put me on oxygen. So I was on oxygen the first time about maybe a year because I was waiting for surgery. At that point, the doctors was like, we have to give her surgery because we can physically see now what she's talking about. So during grad school, I was on oxygen. My graduation, I was on oxygen. But when I took my pictures, I took my oxygen off. Um, so I think I graduated on Friday, the come, upcoming Wednesday, that following Wednesday, I had surgery, lung surgery. So after the lung surgery, I was able to get off of oxygen because I didn't have that same problem. So that was the first time that I was on oxygen. And I would say that I was off of oxygen maybe three years, three years. 
And then the second time I ended back up on oxygen was because um, I just started having breathing problems again. I start having the same problem kind of with my oxygen level dropping, the carbon dioxide building up in my system. Um, you know, when I'm up and walking, I wasn't like expelling enough. And yeah, so I'm off again. <laughs> I'm thankful because um, when I had my breakdown and I was in the hospital, they didn't give me any oxygen. They didn't give me any breathing medications. They didn't give me anything. The whole time I was in there, I told you I was in there for three weeks. So that's kind of how I found out that, okay, maybe I don't need all these things that the doctor is telling me. And when I got home, I started signing my AMAs, which is against medical advice. I was telling the oxygen people, like, I don't want any more oxygen. You don't need to deliver. Come pick up y'all stuff. This ain't not there. So I had to sign those forms saying that, you know, against medical advice, I'm taking myself off of it. So that's what I did. And I've been okay. I've been okay. Thank God. Um, so me and my husband, we went to the doctors on Thursday, and we had the same doctor. Um, so he went had his appointment first. He's in good health. Um, I'm in good health, but I had to reveal to my doctor like all of that medical stuff, medical trauma, I felt like I was taken advantage of. I really do. I'm not going to say that I'm not sick. I wasn't sick, but I feel like it was just like she has good insurance or, you know, she has insurance. So just let's push as much stuff as we possibly can. So I developed a fear of going to the doctor unfortunately. So I did tell my doctor that and she was like, I kind of suspected that this thing I developed a lot because like I'm one of those people, I can go to my appointments every six months. You know, my regular checkups every six months. I can go to that. It's the stuff in between. Like I'm not going to keep running back and forth to the doctor every time something is wrong. So me and my, my doctor came up with a plan. If you know, if it's not my six month appointment, then let's try to do it over telemedicine. You know what I'm saying? Because I experience a lot of anxiety when I go to the doctor. Um, yeah, so we came up with a plan, which is really good. Like I said, everything was good, but I was a little, I was a little mad at my husband because I had told him this year that I did not want to get the COVID shot. And she asked him, she was like, are you going to get your flu shot today? He's like, yes. And then he says, well, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, I don't know what this is going to be. He was like, well, what about the COVID shot? I said, I did not sign up for that this year. Yes, I've been getting the COVID shot. And again, for those who know my journey, I have to do any and everything in order to protect myself. So getting vaccinated against COVID is one of those things that I need to do because I did catch COVID in January and I felt like, I mean, it, it took a toll on me. It definitely did. Um, but it wasn't like I had to go into the hospital, right? So I think that that by getting vaccinated, that kind of helped my process a little bit. Like it could have been worse. You know what I'm saying? So I've been getting a COVID shot, but I said that I didn't want to get it this year because when I get it, it makes me sick. So that's exactly what happened. We got the COVID shot. He got his, and we have this thing where it's like, if he gets his vaccinations, well, we both are good at that anyway, but whatever he get, I get. Whatever I get, he get. And that's the thing. It's like, he's he's gotten a COVID shot strictly based on me at times you know what i'm saying it's like i cannot get my wife sick she's vulnerable you know what i'm saying so he did what he had to do as a husband so i feel like as a wife if you want to get the covid shot hey i'll get it with you too so we did that um so i got him back i got him back and i was like um by the way can we have a talk about the Indian food that I keep telling my husband that he cannot eat every week? And the doctor turned around like, why? And I'm thinking to myself, like, did I say it a certain way where it sounded weird? You know, I was like, no, it's just when he eats it, it makes his blood pressure go up. I noticed that it has a lot of salt in it. It has a lot of grease in it, you know? And it's like, I like Indian food too, but we cannot eat it like that. So I did snitch on him. 
because he signed me up for the COVID shot. <laughs> he signed me up. So, yeah. Um, but everything went well. Everything went well. Um, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. And I'm just blessed. And I'm going to take advantage of every day that I have that I am well. So, all right, guys. That's my medical update. If y'all have any questions, leave it down below. Thank you so much for sitting through this 10-minute video. <laughs> All right, guys. If nobody told you that you're enough today, you are enough. Just the way you are with no strings attached. And if nobody told you that they love you today, I love you. So until next time, guys, peace uh, and blessings to the next one.